Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Redux at the Black Belt Republic Let's continue on from the last left off I've changed the audio settings um, since the last video So hopefully this maybe sounds a little bit better than we've uh, had in the past At least audio kind of balanced twice Hopefully the music and sound effects are a little bit more in tune to where I think they should be But anyways, last time We have secured independence We're now at war with the American Union State and the United States uh, MacArthur uh, In order to hold the CSA And I feel like we're doing like an all right job all things considered we'll take over elizabeth city allow us to put the troops up towards the north if we can take washington i feel like that's going to make the united states capitulate almost immediately oh yeah i, <laughs> I for completely forgot that i was already in the international um so luckily apparently i've called in all of my allies uh to join these wars with me so thank you you you're actually really helping me out now everybody's at war with you Okay, you know what? I, I see no uh, problems with this whatsoever. It's 1938. I mean, bringing all the international forces over here. I mean, th this is in the long run going to strengthen the international. So it makes sense for them to do this. Especially since we're eventually going to get our uh, decisions in the future. Uh, where even is it? Yeah, our decision in the future to eventually get more puppets and stuff. And we'll also try to immediately intervene. In Liberia, and then we'll fund some rebels in France and Middle Africa, and then we'll get some possibilities against them. Which will definitely put to good use. I mean, like Liberia right now, they're not in any faction. Probably wouldn't be too hard to invade them, I think. How much does Middle Africa have? 9 to 28, 17 and 90 for the French Republic. Our manpower situation is still pretty bad. So we'll hope to try to rectify that at some point. Our forces are taking a little bit of beating on this front, but it's nothing super, super bad. Or at least something bad, I would say. Yeah, look, look at all the international troops moving towards our border. We love it, for sure. Austria's actually going to lose to a leader, yes? Yeah? So we'll see if maybe they do something. I mean, it's going to run the Ottoman Empire. Nothing, not a huge surprise there. Strike the Black Legions. Can you do that? Join the uh, Nationals Research Faction. I see no reason to uh, avoid that for now. Or basically ever. Richmond's worth eight. I mean, the thing is, we got to fight to Washington. Everything else doesn't really make a ton of sense. And our allies are almost here. Do the Red Republican Army. Canada could still intervene. Eastio, Chile, and Argentina. Looks like um, Argentina is winning their war. Do we have any air support? We're at zero up here. Do we have any planes? We have four bombers. We have no manpower to actually to field those guys. We're going to get 200 fighters from this decision, but again, we know Manport actually field them. Which some might say is an issue. 9.5. Modify the 92%. Let's go to at least War Economy right now. Do we have any else priority over here? We do. Do you think we're just trying navally invading our way into Washington, D.C.? There's no way that they'll just let us land there, right? Like, that seems a bit optimistic. Also, let's pull our troops out of New Orleans for right now. No reason to keep them there. And as soon as, again, once, once the Washington government's actually dead, we can move all these troops over to fight the American Union state. So many men actually coming over here. Once we invade Canada, we'll have a nice front line with them, which is nice. For the CSA, they have lost Chicago. Can you navally invade? I mean, we'll see. No, there's somebody in there. Not a huge surprise. Is there any of these provinces that are actually kind of empty? No, not really. Really hold off on the assault for now. Pull you out of New Orleans. I really don't think there's a reason for you to even be there. To be quite honest. Any way else we get more manpower? Any of these allow us to get more manpower? Convoys, not really all we need. 
Anyways, let's just keep going down this one. Let's go for Solidarity Economics. How many troops do you guys have? 97 to 180. Soon we're gonna have a front line with the Pacific States, which kind of allows them to kind of funnel more troops in here. Just trying to, I'm trying to think. That's a lot of international troops. That's basically like tripling the size of our army. I mean, I appreciate it a great deal. I'm a little bit scared that the that Germany might just invade the international and then immediately kill them. But you know, no risk, no reward. So much defense. So much defense that's actually a little bit scary. But our allies are here now. You've recaptured capital New Orleans. Which I mean it's a bit of a shame, but it's not the worst thing in the world that could happen. I think. Yeah, I mean, you guys want to do naval invasion. Let's support the naval invasion here if we can. You're pushing Washington, right? Again, if Washington falls... No, they're putting way more men into that province. No way that's going to actually succeed. Hold troops again. You're basically dead. I, I don't see a way that you're going to survive this. Well, the British have actually landed the troops down in Texas. Very, very nice. Hopefully we'll get at least some American Union State troops off of our back. CSA is really just not... They're not being as aggressive as they need to be. Patagonia Workers Front's been annexed. Not a big surprise once uh, Chile lost the war. Hey, Britain, are you going to lose Houston? If you lose Houston, that means you're basically going to lose that front. I wouldn't mind putting troops into Houston, but it's going to be a little bit difficult. Especially once you immediately abandon the location. Congratulations. I, you love to see it. They're really trying to push their way in right now, but I don't think they're going to be able to get too much damage done in the Black Belt. You know, let's shrink this line. Just be over here. We got enough British and French forces to actually guard the rest of this territory. At least that's kind of what it feels like right now. Maybe we can push away into Richmond. Chile wants to, You know what? National Chile wants to be one volunteer? Sure, why not? Don't know why you'd want to do that, but... Okay. Go for the uh, African-American identity. You've, of course, you've abandoned Houston. Why Why hold on to the city? Makes no sense. Your military access through the CSA. I don't, I don't think we want that. In all, in, a, in all honesty, I don't think we actually want that. Okay, reinforcement should be arriving soon. Giving you at least a little bit of land cover. I mean, I would, wouldn't mind if you land in, like, Dover. At least it's got, like, a victory point uh, in it. You can have some supplies. Okay, thank you, uh, for helping me out. Now let's draw your line a little bit more. I think something like that makes sense. Mexico! The total is right now. They actually could maybe intervene at some point. And having a massive front line with the American Union State could, uh, actually really help us out. a lot of there's like one guy in Washington which just makes us a little bit annoying and there's nobody in Washington our life would be a lot easier let me just put it that way also we do need more manpower let's go to service by requirement as unfortunate as it is we kind of need to do it our manpower situation it's kind of hot garbage if I do say so myself 
Yeah, and again, like, basically no other province matters other than Washington, right? The rest of this doesn't really make a huge difference. It looks like the British have once again landed down here. Actually, no, France landed down here, right? They, they, they're both red in this mod. So the French have landed, taking more territory away from uh, Texas. Nice, nice, nice. Seems like it's definitely still be doing a little bit better, but... Then more men into the line, 84%. Shore bombardment fort. What are we getting? How are we getting shore bombardments? I don't think that makes any sense in this context. Okay, it will need to capitulate it. Nothing that we care about too much. We don't really care about in the in uh, Indonesia situation. More bonuses here. Let's weed out the clan some more. Our cavalry basically do nothing. It's negative 99% naval penalty. Yeah, okay. We need, we need to stop this invasion for the time being. I mean... Just thinking, just thinking. What do we do? I mean, I like this push here by France. I'm still a little bit worried that Germany will just invade. I mean, I guess France is a decent number of troops on this border. It shouldn't be the worst in the world. See what the Italian fe Federation does. I don't really... I, I, I don't... I haven't played enough Kaiser Redux to know really what they can do. Which does scare me a little bit. You guys don't feel confident with an attack, and you know what? I don't blame you. Pull you back one province. They put a lot of troops in Washington now. There's four divisions. I mean, four divisions is not going to break. There's, there's no way in hell. You couldn't even break one. I, I, how are you going to break four? It makes no sense. I mean, the Western Commander is actually trying to take more territory away from the American Union state, which is kind of hilarious. Like, I don't know how you perform it so poorly. No, I don't think Italy can actually join any wars since they've united Italy. We've lost right now 96,000 men, mostly against the American Union states. Killed about a million of them in total, not just me. Go some free thought societies and follow it up with a nice uh, generic industry company. I love myself some, some generic industry companies. Like, there's never going to be a point where they just abandon Washington, right? I mean, I just can't see that happening. I mean, they're militias. Again, they're, they are garbage units. 206 defense. Our penalty is just too high. Yeah, you're dead. Bye-bye. Yeah, then you're just gonna fall back. Hmm. The thing is, like, they have... How many men does Big Arthur have? 43 to 72. But in such a small area... Makes it very, very hard to actually make a breakthrough. I think it's time to maybe push ourselves against the longest. Maybe we just ignore the federal government for right now. We kind of just like say, hey, we're not going to be able to make um, the breakthroughs we want. And that, that that's okay. That's okay. In American United States, probably will be the easier one to kill just because they're fighting on so many fronts. That's going to be very difficult for them to actually make any solid progress. You're trying to take over New Orleans. 
Also, it's like randomly getting new divisions. No, we're not. These guys are still deploying. We don't don't deploy these guys. Save the manpower. Thank you. You know, Purple Army, you just stay on the defense. Come to these provinces, just kind of hang out. Zardom has been restored. I'm assuming that's in Russia. The Russian Empire is back. And the war, the war is going to be happening soon. But maybe actually, usually France is the instigator. Maybe they won't actually do it. Uh, okay, don't care about that. But maybe they won't actually do it while they're um. At war with the Americans. They conquer most of Texas. Which is pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. More support. I mean, getting cost of bellies against people doesn't really make any sense at the moment. We'll just keep on going here. Your sensibility is not horrible. We'll just get this one for now. I mean, the American news say again, they're, they're fighting so many fronts. That they've got to be kind of like slowly, slowly whittled down to absolutely nothing. Rebellion in Yemen. Yeah, the war in the desert has now happened. Can you move to this province? Please connect. No, we gotta get the Bhutan Rouge first, I think. Oh, no, 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 we can, we can just go straight into New Orleans. And we can capture New Orleans, I think, to be really nice for us. Why are you guys still attacking? I think maybe we lost a province, and our AI is trying to get back to it. And that would be my best guess. People are joining the Moscow Accord. Who joined the Moscow Accord? Right now, just Serbia. But usually that's going to be followed up by either Romania. Right, just Romania, because, um... Greece already joined the Entente. They already joined the Cairo Pact. Cyprus has joined the war as well. What, what's the level of defense in Washington? Level, level 2 land fort. Or level 2 naval fort, I should say. How do I have no manpower? How much manpower are we missing? Don't go down to speed one. Go back to speed five. We are currently missing about 100,000. Okay, that's really not good. We can push our way into these provinces. Illyria's ended her hostilities. I'm assuming they've declared her independence. Yes, they have. I mean, I like how the international is like trying to like they're they're trying. Not really getting anything done, but they're trying for sure. Don't have a front line with the CSA. It makes no sense whatsoever. This is definitely one of the bloodier civil wars, I would say. Um, that I've experienced. With really no actual end in sight. Keep on striking the Black Legion cells. Try things. Is there anything else we can do? Mexico is at war with you. Like, we can maybe start trying to get Costas bellies and, like, doing some weird stuff. But, like, what would we want to do is another good question. I don't really know. Do need to hang out a little bit. Because we are, uh... Again, very, very low on manpower. So we need to kind of not be throwing our troops into a meat grinder. I mean, that makes sense. Sacrificing your own troops for very little gain doesn't accomplish too much. And you're not at war with these guys, right? You're technically at war with the American you say, but you don't actually have a front line. Illyria joined the Moscow Accord. Interesting. I mean, that's really going to be really bad for Germany. Okay, we've disorganized clan resistance. Also, there's three focuses that I should have been researching, but uh, apparently we've not been doing any of that. 
Go for better rifles, even I don't think we're going to be using them right away. Also, the 1938 research tech. Should have had it a while ago. Who knows how long I've not been actually researching. The answer is longer than you should have. Do not be training. What's wrong with you? I know I probably pressed the train button. The K? Yeah. And the mechs, the techs in front is still holding on well. I mean, already we've gotten them down to 63%. Now's without even taking New Orleans with their 25 victory points. Definitely a city we're going to want to take at some point. Bunch of free military factories, civilian factories? I will definitely say yes to. Yeah. Intel advantage, trains negative 20, commander skill. I think the militias just suck, right? Like, that's kind of the issue. Is that they're just bad. Are you militia 2s or are you militia 1s? That's what should actually be actual infantry. Make you into, like, actual decent military units. Suppression goes up. Recovery rate goes down a little bit. Supply weight goes up. You need a thousand more manpower. That's probably because I had an extra division, though. Even though they're going to be worse. I think we still need to switch you over. Also, thank you, France and Britain, for the weapons. Could not do without you. What are you guys doing? I mean, the Ottomans are doing decently enough. Like how Austria still controls this territory, even though they have no way of actually um, using it. Or at least not effectively. France, again, they're still holding on to this territory. I mean, is there, like, who, who's the Canadians back? Are they backing you? Uh, I don't actually know which one you're actually, um, which one you're backing. You might not, you might be backing nobody. That's not impossible. But I do think that at least for right now, it's going to be a good time for us in, in this episode. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If not, don't forget to thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.